YouTube. What's goody? It's your man Will back in the video. Happy Thursday. Today's Thursday, June. Uh, June 13th. June 13th. 13th, man. I woke up feeling good. You know, kind of tired. Like, I, I, sl I slept kind of early, but then, I don't know, I just kept tossing and turning. I don't know. Um, yeah. Hope everybody's having a blessed day. You know, do what it do. Damn, man, all these damn ants, bro. I don't know where the hell they coming from. It wasn't there yesterday. But, um, yeah, man, I'm freaking hungry as hell. I'm fucking hungry. I don't know, but um, I hope today go by smooth like it did yesterday. Like I said, yesterday I did uh three routes. I helped on three routes. Got done like five, five twenty. Cause I try, I'm trying to be done by like at least six thirty before six thirty, so I catch that buck. Excuse me. So I catch the um. The 6:30 mark and be done with it. So um, I don't know. Ugh. I hope today go by smooth. And right on cue is the plan. I don't know if y'all can see that. That's weird. On the video. On the video, it looked like it was going slow, but in real life, that shit going fast. I don't know why, but I ain't gonna talk y'all head off that much. I'm gonna catch y'all when I go to, uh, when I start walking to work. That's when I see y'all next. And I'm back. I just got off the bus, and now I'm walking to work. <clears throat> Probably can't hear me because of the traffic or whatever. Once again, I'm walking in the sun. It's like literally behind me. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, man, I hope today be a good day because I'm glad I started back working because I don't know if I said this in my last vlog, but I feel like if they had an opening in Violin before I went to Woodbury, I wouldn't have had that almost that gap out of work because of they dumbass for taking too long to um to submit my um my resignation um papers, whatever the case may be. Oh, that's a story I gotta tell y'all too. I gotta tell y'all about about that story about the old uh, post office because if you didn't know, you didn't know I work at the work at the post office. But um, yeah, I gotta tell you that story about them people, man. That was like one of the worst, one of the worst experience I ever experienced working at a uh, at a facility or, or a job, what you want to call it. Like that shit was just awful over there those people were very unprofessional like i said when i applied to be a um a mail carrier i was still with my ex and we in violent of course and i wanted to do violent but they didn't have anything um available at the time so i just took what i i knew in the area which was little because i used to pick up trash over there in Woodbury back um, a couple years ago. Damn, about seven, about six, seven years ago. Um, damn, time flies. Sheesh. Whew. Time flies. But anyway, yeah, like, um, yeah, that was very unprofessional. So, it's crazy. And then, um, before she took the vehicle back that she got me for my birthday, I had applied for an opening position for Violin because 
in this area is pretty decent and to deliver mail and everything over here is pretty solid like it's not you don't really have that much rural um areas unless you go like a little further out but <clears throat> from what i was told when i started monday today thursday um you really have routes out there so i'm like cool that's good enough for me and so far i've just been helping out with routes that's like super close to the station literally like eight to ten minutes away from the station is when i go out to go help um people oh yeah so i guess that's about so it, it does take me about 15 20 minutes to walk in because i got off the bus at 9 at 8 58 and it's 908 and i'm basically like halfway there so <clears throat> but yeah um yeah today's sunny feels nice outside i gotta start wearing like some uh like some turtleneck type things because yesterday i had on a t-shirt and it was super hot and my eczema started to flare up man i ain't never had eczema in my damn life till i came down to this fucking state and mind you i came from florida which was super freaking hot but i'm not from florida i'm from tennessee so i never had eczema when i was in florida and it was hot 99.9 percent .9 throughout the whole year but when i came out here in this winter this and the third weather changing i could see how my my skin and stuff change or whatever that shit, man but it's weird because when it came down to winter time i always like lotion up like super made sure my skin was always moisturized so it wouldn't dry out when it got super cold or whatever the case may be so i don't know like i have i realized that i had my first flare-up without even noticing it back in 2022 and then i didn't have nothing in 2023 um it was maybe like the beginning of January of this year is when I started noticing like little dark marks all around my neck. And I'm like, what the hell is that, bro? Like, I know I'm putting on lotion. I'm lotion up, you know, cocoa butter, you know, whatever case may be, but my shit was still getting dried out. Then come find out it was eczema. So I'm like, damn, that's crazy. <sighs> whatever it is what it is i know what it is now so i know what lotion i need to use i use the eczema lotion and then i found this um i'm guessing some type of eczema soap or something or body wash from amazon that thing smells so damn good like it smells so good i don't know but uh should i cross i don't know i'll probably cross Hood, don't kill me don't hit me um yeah it's, it's honey something but it's like honey and lavender that thing smelled hella good and it's and before i started using it my neck was like super dark but now it's like you can still see the spots but it's not as dark as it was before so yeah that's crazy and it's and it's only on my neck and like a little piece of my arm which is kind of freaking weird but whatever man i don't know it is what it is but i'm about to get ready to walk into this building i guess i'll see y'all again when i'm leaving work now look at me now i'm all clean and smooth you know then when i get out wearing blue girl. tired as hell all right yeah. YouTube, what's goody? I know I ain't probably supposed to be doing this, but uh, I'm just gonna do a little short thing here. <clears throat> you know, why is he blocking the goddamn mailbox? As soon as I press record, that's my own fucking mailbox. Come on, man. Give me a minute, I gotta get out. It's always somebody. Always somebody, somebody, somebody. Somebody, somebody, somebody. Somebody, somebody, somebody.
I hope y'all can hear me. record too much because I don't want to get in trouble. I mean, anybody gonna come out here and, and try to watch my calling me or try to see if I'm doing anything, but um, just look at the packages right now. crazy too because I was saying to myself man, I hope I get a damn uh, drive around today and then sure enough I got inside and like oh we driving day I was like look at going you know still on yeah I'm only about 40 minutes in I got to the route like at 10 20 so not that bad like I said I'm not gonna record that much here yeah like I said some of these houses they ain't gonna have that much mail That's why you see me like look at, make sure I got all the mail for that specific uh, address. I don't know. Today seems pretty good. Seems pretty good, good. But sometimes you gotta be careful because sometimes we, some of these people that that um that case the mail for you, they don't do it right. Like they do it so out of order and then you gotta freaking go high and low to search. I don't like that. Rogers. Rogers go down this way. Yeah, Like I said, I ain't gonna tuck your head off too much. This is a little short video about uh me driver. Do what do. I guess I see y'all when I uh get off work. Peace. Today was a success. Even though I'm like a, I'm gonna say I'm an hour behind. I just got an hour, an extra hour on on my time clock because <clears throat> I was done. I was done with work at like what time is it? Yeah, <sighs> I was done with work about six. I went back to the, I came back to the office it was like 6 13 something like that then um they asked me that I want to go back out to um deliver like four more packages that that got left behind or some something, something like that I'm like sure but damn them packages were spread out but it's okay I got like I said I got like an extra hour 
it's about to be seven o'clock anyway and the next bus coming about 30 minutes so it's cool oh my goodness Woo. i did nothing but driving today and i'm tired i'm only tired because um it was hot like it, it was hot as hell but now the sun's kind of setting a little bit and um it's not as hot i can remember because the sun's behind me so that's why i'm in this little angle where <sighs> and i'm hungry as hell man damn Whew. i'm thirsty as hell i drunk all my waters i drunk my juices well i ain't drink i ain't drink i'm not my juice i drunk my sodas but i didn't finish my other soda because that shit got warm so i'm gonna stop at mcdonald's and get like a cup of ice and call it a day Whew. man this is crazy Whew. oh remember how i was telling y'all how um when your right eye is jumping, something good is gonna happen. And then when your right hand itching, you get some money. Yeah. Both of those things, both of those things, uh, showed itself yesterday. I'll tell you that. They showed up yesterday. And clutch, too. Man. If I didn't have paid child support, dog, I definitely would have had something by now. I definitely would have had something. Like, that shit is just ridiculous. Ridiculous. But it's all good. In due time. In due time. You know, I never understood. Well, I never understand, uh, understand or understood. What they gonna call it? Like, I never was the type of person to be patient about anything. Like, if I want something, I'm gonna work my ass off and try to get that shit like, like as soon as possible. But even though i knew i i should have waited on some things but it's like eh whatever but now it's like i want to say my eyes are more well i will say my eyes are more not really open it's just that i have more free time on my hands than to to make me more patient as you say you know I mean, I'm not going to say I've never been patient because I have, but it's just that I can't be patient for that long. Well, I can be patient for maybe a day or two, whatever the case may be, but then I, I got to have it. Like I, I got I to have it. But now I'm like, I'm bettering myself on how to control that, com, com, uh, that feeling. So... Yeah, I'm doing, I'm doing way better with that now. So it is what actually, I might just go and get a drink from McDonald's. So damn, I ain't it still a dollar or something? I don't know. I think it's a dollar still. Is it a dollar? Get any size cup? I don't know. I never really got no, uh, just no cup in a long time. So I don't know. My damn chest starting to hurt. I ain't felt this shit in a minute. Relax there. Relax. Damn, I'm tired. 703. I'm almost at McDonald's. It's not that far. Not far of a walk. Hmm. I was going to get a bike, but then it's like, if I already got a bike, just to put it like underneath the bus and then this and third, where the hell I'm going to put that bike at at night? 
That shit might get stolen. I'll just wait. I spoke to somebody on Facebook. Dude say he not in the rush to sell the car, so he gonna hold it for me. So I hope dude keep his word and hold that shit, cause if I'm thinking what I'm gonna get on my check next week, it's a go. I might just fuck around, and get the car, and the fall of the next time I get paid, then I just go and get the shit registered and do it all that so I can legally drive it. I don't want to freaking illegal drive it and I'm working a government job. How does go look? That is not gonna look right at all. But overall, my day today was good. Except for a little um a mix up on my part. There was some packages that I couldn't scan or they wouldn't scan and I totally forgot they was in the back. So I had to double back. I was mad. I was mad as hell. I still got off pretty early, but I still was mad. I mean, but then again, at the end, it's kind of worked out because I got an extra hour. So, whatever. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Damn, can y'all see that? This shit feel dry as hell. Damn. I don't know if y'all can see that, but I can feel it. Oh, covered up the eggs. Oh, don't see my eggs, man. Don't see my eggs. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. No. But yeah, man, it's a go. Because um, if I get this car, I can start going to the gym after work. And then I'm going to shower at the gym after I'm done. Yeah, so I can still work out and get my, you know, get my swole back on because I done lost like 30 some damn pounds, man, almost 40 pounds. Before everything ended with me and my ex, I was like 183 goddamn pounds. Nothing but muscle house. You know what I'm saying? Nothing but muscle. But all that shit I went through with breakup and then bullshit with her, got stressed out, lost pounds, lost everything. But it's all good. I'll get it back. Don't worry. I'll get it back. But I'm at McDonald's. So I guess I'll catch y'all tomorrow on the, the next vlog or the next time I vlog. Y'all already know, dude. Do stuff you think that's right. I'll see y'all next one. Peace.